regardless of which type of beginner class you are teaching, here are top ten tips, if you like, for the teaching of beginners. The first thing is to keep it simple. You have to remember, when teaching beginners, that your language level has to be at the same level, or at least slightly above theirs, otherwise they're not going to understand you. One of the ways in which we can reduce that language level down to its lowest possible value is to be visual rather than verbal. Certainly at the starter level, and within all levels in fact, visual information is a far easier way to transmit that information than trying to talk about it. What we also need to do as often as possible is to get those language learners talking. It's through the use of the language that they're going to learn it the quickest. One of the ways in which we can help to keep them talking is to often use questioning and repetition. So repetition drills for pronunciation and so on and so forth. Another thing that will help to keep them talking is to use pair work. Individuals working on their own have no real reason to talk to each other. What we want to do is to get them talking as much as possible and by using pair work we maximise their opportunity for student to student interaction. Another thing, always try to be supportive and praise as often as possible. Praise will increase the student's confidence and will also get them used to the idea that when they give an answer, they can expect to be praised for that. Next thing, always respond to the individual needs of the students. At the starter level, or the beginner level particularly, there are going to be a whole range of individual needs that different students will have. Next, it's very, very important that you are patient. You cannot expect the students to pick up everything that you say immediately, so you need to be patient and you need to be prepared to cover material again. Next, what we need to do is to play lots of games. What interactive games will allow you to do is to get the students talking to each other as often as possible, and often that's in some form of realistic context by using a game. And finally, it is quite important that we don't overcorrect. Students' confidence can be brought down very quickly if we correct every single mistake that they make. And making mistakes is part of the learning process. So try only to correct where absolutely necessary.